All right, this is part two. Sorry about that. My younger said brother uh, came in my room. You heard him, right? Yeah, he came in my room. He showed me how much money he saved. He saved like thousands of dollars. He's been working in uh, the bank for like a year. He saved a lot of money, obviously. Yeah. Because he makes like 40K a year working at the bank. He's making good money. He's not paying any rent. He's able to save a lot of money. Well, he has his will, obviously. He's acting, obviously, but he's making a lot of money working for the, at the bank. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I just texted my stepmother to see if I can clean her car for $11. Clean the outside of her car. For eleven dollars, yeah. Obviously, yeah. This is part two, pretty much, because part one was twenty-seven minutes. So I can talk. I can. I'll just have this be part two. Twenty-seven minutes is long enough to be one part, obviously. Yeah. Ivan, I'm so Ivan, I'm so proud of you. You're, 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 you're taking better care of yourself. Yes, I finally got got a job. I've been collecting more for checks for how long now? Almost three years. And then finally, when, when my younger stepbrother decided not to help with my book, I decided to just get a job and work. I'm like, yeah, I'd rather work and make money every two weeks. I can save more money working instead of just collecting seven hundred dollars a month. Seven hundred is not enough to save. Two hundred. I'm only going to save 200 a month. Six months, you only save what? 1200 all is not enough. Was if I save 200 a paycheck, I'll save like 2500 by the end of the year. 2500 to 3000 by the end of the year. Because I'm, I'm going to get, um, yeah, like 2500 2600 I can save by the end of the year. Which is nice. And that's enough for me to get my book edited, obviously. I we call yeah even after I get my ad I'm constantly going to be saving my money, two hundred a paycheck. If I get eight hundred I can save three hundred a paycheck. If I get seven fifty I can save two twenty five two fifty two hundred. If I get six eighty I can save two hundred, a paycheck. There's a saying save more than you spend but I don't want to save like five hundred bucks and only have one eighty to spend. I'll blow my one eighty dollars in like five days. I don't want to do that. I want to. Save a good like two two hundred a paycheck. That's good enough. Then by the end of the year, I save like two grand, two thousand dollars. Like I have enough to get my book edited. Since there, yeah. So this week, I plan to plan. I don't know. Maybe she's off this week. I don't know. But if she works this week, I plan on talking to her this week, next week. So you have this week and you have next week. Then you have the week after that. Then you have the week after that, probably. So probably, yeah, J June, like, maybe 17th, 18th, around there. That's the time I'll ask her on it. I'm going to man up and ask her on a date. If if I sense that she, she she's interested in me, I'll ask her on a date. If I sense that she's, she's keeping her distance, just she's not interested in me, I won't ask her on a date. I'll go for another woman, some Sarah. Because you'll know by her body language if she's interested in you or not. You'll know, obviously. Sarah. I don't want to be this fucking uh this creep who's, who tries to go for a girl who's not interested in him, Sarah. Yeah. yeah, that's my point.
Yep. Obviously. Ivan, you want to, yeah, I want to ask on a day, like three to four, three to four weeks from now, I will do it. I'm going to ask her on a day. I'm going to man up and do it. There's other chicks too who are attractive too. I'm not really, really interested in them. I don't know. There's one chick who I find, she's pretty hot too. She's like, she looks really young. She looks like she's like 18 years old. She's very cute, obviously. But she's not really like, she looks too really young. Maybe like a 19 year old person. She's attractive, obviously. She's a hot chick, too, but uh, I'm not really interested in, it, in her because she seems a bit young. There's, like, two other ones who I find pretty attractive, too. Um, They're not as hot as the, uh, as, as, as the redhead. The redhead's hot, man. Yeah, she's hot. From Sarah. Ivan, she's the hottest waitress. Yeah, she's the hottest waitress by far. Yeah. Obviously. That's the one thing I liked about Beer Market. Beer Market, I was surrounded by, like, attractive waitresses. All the waitresses were, like, hot. A few of them were okay, but all the waitresses, all the bartenders, they were all, like, hot, attractive, like, hot women <laughs> when I worked at Beer Market. I was surrounded by uh, attractive women everywhere. They're all, like, attractive, yeah. Beer Market had a lot of hot fucking chicks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're all like six pluses, sixes, sevens, eights, some nines. Yeah, some a hot fucking woman. Obviously. But back then I was square. I was really, really square. And I thought I had a disease, obviously. That's why I, I, and I was too square. That's why I repelled a woman, obviously. Obviously. Whereas now it's finally hit me. Yeah, I'm 31 years old. I've never been in a relationship. It's about time I try to get a girlfriend. Experience being in a relationship like at least like VJ, at least like VJ had boyfriends. It's about time I try and experience being in a relationship. Hence why I'm 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 I'm, I'm and I need to man up and unsquare myself. I'm sorry. I need to man up and unsquare myself. Yeah. Man up and unscore myself, yeah. Ivan, right, if they offer you a job as a busboy, would you take the job? Probably not. Because if you're a busboy, you, um, busboys are the people who help out the waitresses. They help the waitresses with the dishes, taking the dishes in the dish pit. They help them serve, they help them serve the customers. And busboys don't get tips. Only the waiters get tips. The only way a busboy can get tip is if the waiter gives them some money, obviously. Hey, you worked hard. Here's 10 bucks, 20 bucks tip they can give you. A date, you know what I'm saying? But if, you, if you're a busboy, you don't get any breaks, man. Only, only the kitchen staff get breaks. The waiters don't get any breaks because they have to serve the customers, obviously. I've, why do the waiters not get any breaks? Because they have to serve the customers. You can't leave. You have to serve your customers, obviously. Because as more customers come in, you have to you have to serve them. Obviously, you can't. You have like no time to take a break. <clears throat> Since there, and you can't. You don't get free food. You have to pay half price for the food. The reason why they they, they make the waiters pay for the food, obviously, because they all get they they make a lot of money in tips. Yeah, man, you guys are doing the least amount of work. All you do is walk around and serve customers. You know what I'm saying? And why you make like your 100, 120, 130 dollars a night a day and tip you're, you're paying for the fucking meal and you don't get any breaks yeah whereas the kitchen staff don't get the kind of tips they're, they're making that's why the, the kitchen staff get the breaks they get they get they get free food i get free food <laughs> i remember today whenever i had free food you know i so remember i went i went to go eat my food you could tell some of the waiters were looking oh man ivan's lucky man you know say so he gets free food yeah because because yeah uh, dishwashers and line cooks they work really hard and they, they do way more work than the waiters, obviously. Look, man, you guys can't complain. You guys get, like, your free 
You guys get what? Your fucking tips every... You get your like 100 plus dollars in tips a day. Weekdays, you probably make 80, 90, 80 bucks a day tip. <clears throat> and weekends, you're probably making like 150, 180, 200 dollars a day in tip. You're making a lot of money. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're making a lot of money. Making a lot of money, yeah. Obviously, I have. Were you ever a waiter? No, I was a busboy. I remember when I worked at Louis Steakhouse. I was a busboy and I was also a dishwasher. I did both. I remember as a I was a busboy. I was terrible. I wasn't that good of a busboy, and I was also a dishwasher. And when I worked in Ambrosia, I was a busboy too. I remember I had a tough time being a busboy because I didn't speak French. So I worked in, I only worked there for like two weeks in Ambrosia when it just opened in like 2006. My neighbor here uh, opened a restaurant in Ambrosia and he hired me. And I worked there when it just opened like in 2006 for that. I quit after like two weeks. They had good, they had amazing pasta, man. High end like pasta food. They had really good food, man, yeah. It was an Italian restaurant because he's Italian. The guy's Italian. Amazing fucking pasta food. I remember I had their like their, their, their spaghetti and their like sauce with beans. It was so good. I'm like, oh my god, this food's amazing, yeah. 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 All right, how long are you going to work here? I'll work here for maybe... I'll work at this restaurant for maybe a good three years. I'm probably going to pay the fee in two, three years. So 2025, 2026, I'll pay it. So I can work here for maybe three years. So I'll date the chick while I work at this... If I end up going... If I, this chick ends up being my girlfriend, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know. If she ends up being my girlfriend, I'll date her for three years while, while I work here. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'll give the manager a two-week notice. <laughs> He's like, Ivan, why are you, why are you, why, why are you giving me two knows? I'm like, yeah, I'm moving on to better things, man. He knows, uh, yeah, Ivan's about to become king. Yeah, I'm done with these minimum wage jobs. I am done with dishwashing. I'm done with making minimum wage. My book is done. I have the keys. I'm ready to, to, to live my life. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to feel like shit. Oh, Ivan's about to become king. Yeah. He's about to become king. He's going to live that great, that great life with his wife, obviously. Yeah. They know the time is coming, obviously. The time has come. It's time, yeah. You know it's time, obviously. You know it's time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so happy I'm off tomorrow. I'm fucking tired, man. Oh my god. Yeah. More, I'll just do, I, don't know, I might work on the yard all day and then get the whole right side done. I can do that and she can give me maybe 25 bucks for it or something like that. And if I get the whole thing done, but I mean, to get the whole thing done, I have to start working on it like early in the morning, like at 10 and work on it all day to like five and to get it all done, which is dirty work. But I mean, I don't know if I can do that. It's a lot of work. Obviously. When I'm done, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to show you guys what I did in the backyard. Holy shit, I mean, you did all that yourself? Yeah. Like, half the lawn is done. It's all nicely neat with, 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 with soil. We're going to plant new grass. I'm going to plant a garden. It looks really beautiful. Whereas the other half is full of weeds. The other half I'll do next year. I'm, I can't do the whole lawn. It's fucking, it's, it's too much, too much of my body. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's bizarre.
Yeah. So talk to her for three, four weeks. See if she's interested in you. If she's not, if I sense that she's not interested in me, then I'm not going to ask her for a number. No, I can still ask for a number. But if she's if she likes you, then then you ask her for a number. But I'm scared to get rejected, man. I have no use. Yeah, the the two re, I'll tell you the two reasons I repel women. The first reason is I'm scared to get rejected. I'm scared she might not like me that much. I'm scared she might not text me that much. I'm scared she might not be interested in me. So I'm saying that's the part that scares me, obviously. And then the other part is the opposite. I'm scared she might be too attached to me. Like, she might be a very, 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 very attached to me. She becomes like an obsessed woman. So I'm saying that's the part that scares me. I don't want to. I hope she does. She's not like that, obviously. Like super obsessed. <laughs> yeah. Not like fatal attraction. That's crazy, man. If a chick was that crazy, I would. I would yeah, I don't want to be with you. You're a crazy woman, man. Fatal attraction. Did you guys? Did you guys see that movie with Michael Douglas? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Michael Douglas. He works at this place, obviously, and he ends up he ends up meeting this this woman. Obviously, they end up fucking, <laughs> and she becomes like obsessed with him. She follows him. She spies on him. She's she's a crazy woman. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, it's Michael Douglas. At first, he's he's banging her. He, he cheats on his wife pretty much. Right? I'm spoiling the story for you. He's banging her. He has a good time. He likes her, and eventually, she goes overboard, and she becomes like obsessed with him. She becomes like a failure, attracted to him, and she's obsessed with him. That's crazy. That's like psychopathic, crazy behavior. So I'm saying, wish she won't be like obviously. Well, I'm scared she might become obsessed with me. Obviously, that's because I'm why I'm a son. I'm special. Obviously, I right, when you become obsessed with her, I'll like her. Obviously, I'll be attached to her if I if if it goes well. But I, I'm not. I like to keep my distance. And, and, and I'm not. I'm not like some crazy creep, man. I like to keep my distance with women, even if I like them a lot. I still keep my distance. As I told you, I like the chick. I'm attracted to her. I have a, I have a crush on her. I like her. I like her. I, I like her, obviously, quite a lot. But I, you, even at work, I keep my distance. Because I don't like to be this creep who's crazy, an obsessive, creepy guy. I'm saying. I like to keep my distance. Yeah, Ivan, even though Ivan says he likes me and stuff, he keeps his distance. Yes, I keep my distance. I don't like to be this crazy, obsessed, nice guy, crazy kind of guy. I'm saying. I'm going to go get a coffee here in a sec. Another coffee. We'll see. From Sarah? Yeah. Oh, no. I asked for a number like a month from now. Today is what? May 21st. So, I don't know. June 21st. June 23rd, June 22nd, around there. Not June 15th, probably June 22nd. June tw Towards the end of June is when, is when I ask her on a date. And I'm fucking nervous. I don't know. She goes she's, She goes in the room. I'm ready. And I'm like, oh, should I do it? Should I go in there and ask her for a number? And I'm like, fuck it. Let's do it, Ivan. And I'm mad enough. And I go in there. I'm like, hey, you you, you done your shift? And you say, <coughs> she's like, yeah, I'm done. I'm like, hey, I'm just wondering. You want to go off to dinner sometime? I, I, don't, I don't mean to, like... I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I'm just wondering if you want to go out there sometime with me. She's like, uh, what? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I wonder if you want to go, 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 go to dinner with you sometime. I'm like, oh my God, St. Hubert's, how does St. Hubert sound? It's like, dîner, Yvon, avec toi? You know, I'm like, dîner, Yvon, avec moi? I'm like, yeah, yeah, dîner, oui, dîner avec, avec moi. 7h30 at Saint Hubert. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, okay, it's because she speaks French. You know, uh, yeah, sure, I, I'll go off to dinner with you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or she says, no, and I'm sorry, Ivan, I can't. I, I like someone else or someone else. I like someone else. I'm like, holy shit, she was checking me, man. And I'd be crushed. It's fine. If I'll be crushed. I'm saying, it's fine. I understand what I'm saying. I'm like, holy shit, she just rejected me, man. You know what I'm saying? If she rejects me, chances are she'll tell everyone at work. Yeah, I even asked her on the day. I said, no. Everyone at work's like, you said no to Ivan. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> yeah, man. All the waiters, all the male waiters, all the one waiters are like, what is wrong with you? You're fucking crazy. You rejected Ivan. If you went on a date, then you would have felt on top of the world when everyone would have been staring at you, man. 
And she's like, oh my God, did I make a mistake? Yes, you made a mistake. What is wrong with you? You rejected Ivan. Ivan's a handsome man. You rejected him? To say it? She's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I, I didn't know what to say. I, I, didn't, I wasn't ready yet. I'm like, yeah, man, you rejected me. And now I'm never asking for your number ever again. If she rejects me, God forbid, I am never going to ask you for your number ever again. And you, if you expect me to flirt with you more, I'm not, it's not happening. I'm not flirting with you anymore. I'm going for someone else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Opposite. Ivan, what's the best way to rub in a girl's face who rejects you? Pick up a chick who's really hot. And then you'll rub it in her face, obviously. You'll rub it in her face. Women hate that. Yeah, because there's some women who reject men. And the man's like, okay, fine, you rejected me. And he, he ends up going for another chick who's really, really hot. And, she, and the girl's like, oh my god. And she, they get pissed off about that, yeah. Especially if you pick up another hot chick. Okay, fine, you, you rejected me, I'll go for someone else. You find another chick who actually likes you. And who's fucking hot too. And, 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 and yeah... And she's, she's, she's like, oh my god, what have I done? I regret my decision rejecting Ivan. The chances of rejecting me is, I don't know, 1%. Chances are she'll say yes to me, man. I'm a, I'm a handsome man, man. How can, you, how can you deny this handsome face, I'm saying? How can you deny it? Yeah, there you go. Obviously. Yeah. She says yes. I mean, she rejected you with with the people at work. Be shocked, yes, man. They'd all be shocked. Holy shit! I even got rejected by her. <laughs> like you, they'd be like, "This girl's crazy, man." She rejected Ivan. Mean, you 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 say yes to all these. You say yes to all these attractive normal men. You said no to Ivan, who's the son of God, who's fucking handsome. You said no to him. You know what I'm saying? Like you would have been had you went on a date with him. You it would have been the best day of your life, and you wouldn't feeling on top of the world. Where, wherever you are with him, you're feeling on top of the world because everyone's staring, man. Like you, 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 <laughs> you said no to that. <laughs> when you go out with all these other men, no one really cares. When you go out with Ivan, everyone stares. Is Ivan something? God, he's special, obviously. Yeah, but chances of her saying no is slim. Chances of her say yes. The question is, will the first date go well? Will the first date go well enough for her to want to go on more dates with you? I don't know. My first date ends up being the best date of the best date of my life. I feel the top of the world. Everyone's staring. She's like, oh my God, I had a great time with you, Ivan. I'm like, yeah, me too. I'm saying, I'll talk to you soon. See you later. Oh, Ivan, I'll see you later. Talk to you soon. You give her a hug and the date went well. And you ask her again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dine avec, avec, avec toi, Yvonne. I'm like, oui, 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 oui. Dîner avec, dîner avec moi à Saint Hubert à 7 heures, à 7h30. Yeah. What is Friday in French again? Jeudi is. I forget what Friday is in French. Obviously, I don't have to speak to her in French, so she understands uh, English pretty well. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> she has her French accent and oh my god. You know, I say, sure, I'll go out to dinner with you, Ivan. I'm saying, I'm like, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously. How does next Friday, 7.30 at St. Hubert sound? Oh, that sounds good, Ivan. Oh, I, I, I'm I'm available this week. Yeah, I don't want to go out dinner this week. Why? Because 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 I'm not um what I'm I, I'm running out of money. Oh, you're low on cash, Ivan. Yes, I only have like two hundred fifty bucks, two hundred dollars in my in my checkings. I don't want to touch my savings. I only have a couple hundred bucks in my in in in, in, in my checkings, and I I want to have enough till next week. Obviously. I want to have enough till next week, obviously. So, I think it's best. So I go on a date the day after I get paid. So I'll ask her on. The, I'll ask her on the date, the Friday, the week, the week of the Friday before the week I get before the following week I get paid. So you go on a date with her seven days later. Ask her on a Friday or a Thursday when she works. If she works on the weekdays, ask her on a weekday if she works on that weekday, and you go on your date the following week on a Friday. Samsara at St. Hubert's at 7.30 p.m. 
Says all taunts. Is that good for you? Yeah, yeah that's fine. I'll be there. At, yeah, seven thirty. I'll be there at seven thirty. Oh no, my 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 manager makes me work on Friday, obviously, and the day of the date happens. And I don't know she works that day. I work that day. I talk to her a bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, I'll see you, Ivan. <laughs> She's done her shit to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, I'll see you, Ivan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All I want to be thinking about is that date. That's all I want to be thinking about. <laughs> on the Friday is that date. Hopefully it goes well. And it's the best date of my life. <laughs> I feel on top of the world when I'm with her, man. <laughs> I don't know, the St. New Barrel restaurant's busy as fuck, too. Because it's a Friday, right? That's why go on a day on a Friday. It's the best time to go on a date. Because everyone's done work. And they're off on Saturday. Because they can all go to restaurants and have a bite to eat and everything. And get and have a beer and eat food. I'm probably going to get, like, a chicken burger. You guys have chicken burgers? Yeah, we have chicken burgers. Hey, get, get me a chicken burger. I'll have your chicken burgers with your fries. <laughs> with your fries. And I'll get a Coke. You guys have Coke? Yeah, we're going to get me a Coke. I would love to go to Dinsey's. Dinsey's has amazing food. They have like burgers and fries and all stuff. But it's a far, it's far, man. I have to bus there or we have to walk there. But walking there is a long walk. I don't want to walk there. It's a long fucking walk. I don't want to walk all the way there. But it is a, it is good to walk with her that distance. You get to talk to her a lot. But I don't want to walk all the way there. I want a bus there. It's like a one minute bus ride. I don't feel like paying for bus tickets. So I'm saying? St. Hubert's is more convenient. It's downtown. I can walk there. It's not that far. Let's go to St. Hubert's for my first date. I go to St. Hubert's, obviously. I might make a full video here, guys. And I'll see if I can do something in the house. Maybe clean her car for maybe like $11. I can get myself a 20-pack of smokes. And I'll watch the, the video with you guys. And I'll, I might rest for a bit, maybe. Maybe listen to some music and then go on the treadmill for an hour again. I'm going to go on the treadmill seven days a week. I'm going to lose this weight. Get down on 230 pounds. I'm right, why losing the weight? I'm losing the weight for me, man. I want to look good. I want to look better. I'm fat as fuck right now. I want to look better. Obviously. I also know if I go on these days with her, I, 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 I need to lose the weight, man. I'm fat as fuck. Yes, I'm so handsome, but I'm, I'm even more handsome, much more handsome when I'm skinnier. You know, so I show, the people at work will know I lost the weight. I don't know, five, like three months from now, everyone knows I lost weight. I mean, did you lose weight, man? I'm like, you've been working out? I'm like, yeah, I've been working out, man. Like, I go on and tremble like seven days a week. Seven days a week, I for an hour, yeah, I've been burning like a couple hundred pounds a day. And I've been eating some pretty healthy food, like Subway and that kind of stuff. And I lost the weight. Ivan, mean, you look good. You lost weight. You know what I'm saying? Some people might tell me that. She might tell me that. Ivan, mean, you lost weight. You look pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I lost weight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I started yesterday. Going on a travel for an I went for an hour, man. I lost like 300, like 10 calories. It's pretty good. A one hour work. I, I do a quick walk on the travel. And it burns. You burn a lot of weight, a lot of fat, obviously. obviously. You want to burn fat? Walk on the travel. Don't run. Running is for like conditioning. It's for conditioning. You don't burn as much fat by running. You burn more fat when you walk really fast. You burn more of your fat. I learned this when I watch some stuff, obviously. I don't run. I can't run for an hour. I don't have that, the, 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 the what? I don't have the, 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 the energy to run for an hour. I can run for maybe five, ten minutes. I can't run for an hour. I walk on the tremble very, like, quick walks. I do, like, quick walks. I walk very, very fast on the tremble for, like, an hour. I listen to music on my phone. Sarah, that's why I do obviously. Yeah, so next in three weeks, four weeks, I'm gonna ask her on a date. I'm gonna ask her on a date. I'm gonna ask her on the date. 
if she says, yeah, hopefully she says yes. Also, she says yes. Sure, I'm not going on a date with you. Okay, uh, how, how does next Friday at, at St. Hubert 730 sound? Oh, that sounds fine. Okay, I'll see you then. I'll talk to you soon. And you get her number down. Okay, let me repeat this. Is this your number? 819. Yeah, I messed up. Okay, I'll text you. Did you get my text? Okay, I got your text. Okay, the number, the display number you see on your phone, that's my number. Obviously. So hopefully, so make sure you save my number on your phone and write my name down. Yvonne or Ivan. And you, and you you save my number down on your phone. If you text her and she says, who is this? That means she did not save your number on her phone. That means she doesn't care about you. That's a red flag. If that happened, I can I can, I, I can let it slide. Sorry, Ivan, I forgot to write your number. Okay, I'll let that slide. You know what I'm saying? But if you do that and you also, what, come late to the date, I'll go on that date with you. But chances are I won't be interested in her anymore because she seems like she doesn't give a shit about me, obviously. But if she likes you a lot, she will, she will put your name down on her phone and she'll write your number down. So write your number down, obviously. And don't come late to your date. Otherwise, she will not like you. <laughs> she might she might maybe like uh suck it up and go through that day with you, but after that, she's not I don't want I don't like Ivan. You came late to my the fucking date. Yeah, do not come late to the date. You'll make her feel like shit. And the same thing for her. If she comes late to the date, chances are I will not want to. I will not want to vibe with her more because uh, she doesn't care about me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't show up too early because if you show up too early, you're, you're being a nice guy. There's some guys who show up like 30 minutes early. And I'm like, yeah, if you do that, you're being a nice guy. Women don't like nice guys. Show up like five minutes before the, the, the time. That's good enough. I don't know. I take a shower at 7.45. I don't hate them. So I take my shower at 7.45. I'm done at 7. I, I, I dry myself. I get. I put my clothes on. My, my clothes on. A nice tooth, you know what I'm saying? I look good, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And what? I leave at 7.10. And I arrive at 7.25, 7.26, 7.27. I came three minutes before the time. I don't know, I go there, I see her there already there waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, She's waiting for me, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit, she looks nice. So yeah, she's my cover.